May God bless you all. In today's contribution concerning the verse Your name is perfumed, ointment, emptied out. Today we're going to see the reflection of Gregory the Great. The ointment poured out is the deity incarnate. For if an unguent is in a jar, its odor outside of the jar is not very strong. But if it is poured out, the scent of the unguent spreads around. The name of God then is an unguent poured out in that it pours itself out of its divine immensity for the sake of our nature. From being invisible, it renders itself visible. From For if it did not pour itself out, it would never become known to us. The unguent poured itself out when it both preserved itself as God and showed itself as a human. Regarding this outpouring, Paul says, Who, since he was in the form of God, did not think that it was robbery to be equal to God, but emptied himself, taking on the form of a servant. Philippians 2, 6, 7 What Paul calls emptied, Solomon calls emptied out. Since then, the Lord was made known to the human race by the humility of the Incarnation. It is said to him, Your name is perfumed ointment emptied out. We're going now to see the contribution of Ambrose of Milan. Your name is perfumed ointment emptied out. That is why young maidens have loved you and have drawn you. So you went down into the baptismal water. Recall what your answers were. You replied that you believe in the Father, believe in the Son, believe in the Holy Spirit. That does not mean I believe in a greater and a lesser and a last. You bound yourself by the same spoken guarantee to believe in the Son in the same way as you believe in the Father, to believe in the Spirit in the same way as you believe in the Son, with the single exception that you acknowledge yourself bound to believe that only the Lord Jesus was crucified. After all, you came up to the bishop. Keep in mind what then followed. Was it not what David said, like the perfumed ointment upon the head that comes down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron? Psalm 132 verse 2 and 133 verse 2 in the Septuagint. This is the ointment of which Solomon says, Your name is perfumed ointment, emptied out. That is why young maidens have loved you and have drawn you. How many renewed souls have loved you today, Lord Jesus? And said, as they drew into themselves the fragrance of resurrection, Draw us after you. Let us run after the fragrance of your perfumes. Now we're going to see the contribution of Apollinarius of Lodicea. Your name is perfumed ointment emptied out. By the name of Christ all are purified, cured, washed, and there is made to dwell in us the veritable sweet smell, I mean the Holy Spirit, and the name that has been poured out brings about the outpouring of the Spirit upon all. In accordance with the saying, you have been sanctified and justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the Spirit of our God. 1 Corinthians 6.11 Now we're going to see also the contribution of Theodoret of Cyrus. The king has brought me into his chamber. Let us rejoice and be glad in you. We will love your breasts better than wine. The young maidens are not jealous or full of envy because they remain outside and are not admitted into the bridal chamber. On the contrary, they rejoice and are glad and are happy for the honor accorded the bride, and they are satisfied with the sound of her sweet voice. Hence, they add, 
We will love your breast better than wine. The very thing she herself had said to the bridegroom, the song cited from Song 1 to B, is what imitating the favor of the bridegroom. They say to the bride because of the favor and affection they feel for her. For Christ said to his apostles, The person who receives you receives me. Matthew 10.40 and whoever gives one of these little ones who believe in me a cup of cold water to drink will not, I promise you, lose his reward. Mark 9, 41, 42. Again, the young maidens call the bride's breast founts of teaching that pour forth streams suitable for all ages. And they promise that they shall love the bride's breast more than any human delight. For used as a figure, wine refers to what to that which gladdens the human heart. Psalm 103, verse 15. Septuagint 104, verse 15. Now, Lord, we want to thank you today for this contribution concerning. The Song of Songs, your perfume, your name is perfumed, ointment emptied out. Help us, Father, to believe that in Jesus' name, Jesus' blood, and the Holy Spirit, your name is really our joy. Your name is the veritable sweet smell we need in order to grow in our intimate relationship with you. We ask this, Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood, and the Holy Spirit. And may God Almighty bless you and protect you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.